Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And uh, this quick video, I'm gonna be talking about the uh, the fabulous Mula uh, Women's Battle Royal has been officially changed to the uh, WrestleMania uh, Women's Battle Royal. Personally, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't think it matters what the name was. Um, I don't think the Fabulous Moolah's name changed. Like, like basically, I, I, I didn't care, like, if they changed it or they didn't. Like, I'm okay with the change. Uh, I would have been fine if they left the name the, the, name the Fabulous Moolah. Um, honestly, I don't think this, this match should even be happening. I mean, I, I like the idea that they're doing all these female matches that men normally get, you know, like the Hell in the Cell, the Royal Rumble, the Elimination Chamber, yada yada, whatever. I like that they're doing that for the females. I really do. I, I've always wanted to see fe uh, female wrestlers do, you know, stuff like that. And I'm glad that they have a female Royal Rumble match. But a, a female Royal Battle at WrestleMania to me seems so pointless. I mean, the look at the men's one. Look at the Andre the Giant one. I mean, what has it done for anyone that's won that, that royal battle? Nothing. Baron Corbett did nothing. Uh, Mojo Riley didn't do shit with it. And he was, uh, like, only won it because of the whole thing that Gronk was going to be there. That was it. You know, that's the only reason why he won it. Um, last year, um, who else? Who else won it? Big Show. They only gave it to Big Show because he was, like, the successor giant to him, but this was on the pre-show, just so does it really matter, um, and then Cesaro, they didn't do anything with Cesaro either, who won it first, so to me, does it really do anything, I mean, they get a trophy, big deal, you know, like, cool, you get a trophy of Andre, that's cool, you get a cool trophy of Andre, but what does it do, what does it do for someone, do, do you get a title shot, do you get an intercontinental or US title shot, no, do you get a universal or a WWE world title shot, no, you don't get any of that stuff. So, so what is the point of the? What is the point of it? I, I just think it's such a waste of time. It's like, it's like twenty minutes, twenty minutes. Like they're gonna do this, and it's just. Hopefully, the the the, the women's one isn't gonna be 30, 30 men like it is, or thirty women like it is for the men, because then it's gonna be even longer. So that's gonna be like, you know. It's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to take a lot of time away from other matches. And that's why I'm not really a fan of it. I'm, and this is not the fe just the female one. It's it's the male one, too. Like, I, I've, ne I've not really been a fan of it. I really haven't because it doesn't really accomplish anything. Like, I mean, all they're doing... I mean, yeah, I, I understand they're naming it after Andre and all that stuff. And they wanted to name it after the Fabulous Moolah, you know, and now they changed it. But, I mean... To me, it's just, it's just pointless. The only thing that I th find really funny about this whole situation is it wasn't you, the fans, that you know were petitioning to get the fabulous Mula taken off her name off this battle royal. It wasn't you, you know. The ten thousand petitions didn't really matter. I guarantee you, uh, it was it was Snickers. Okay, Snickers was the reason why it was pulled. Okay. Like, literally, it was not because of the fans. Like, like, a lot of people think this was an accomplishment. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't because it's like the fan, you know, WWE ignores the fans. If WWE actually listened to the fans, Roman Reigns would not be in the main event of WrestleMania right now. Okay? Like, they actually listen to the fans. Okay? So this is probably the second time in like four years or five years um, that WWE has actually listened, quote-unquote, to the fans. I mean, the other time was when they did put Daniel Bryan in the main event of WrestleMania, but again, that was only, that was primarily due to the fact that CM Punk left. He quit, so Triple H didn't have an opponent, so they kind of twisted everything around, so they could, you know, so it, it, when Daniel beat Triple H, that he could be inserted into the main event and make it a triple threat match. So, they kind of, you know, twisted that stuff around. But this really wasn't fan influence either. This really wasn't fan influence. This was Snickers. Like, Snickers was one of the, you know, big sponsors for WrestleMania. And so they, you know, were the ones that really were pissed off at WWE. Just as much as the fans were, but not nearly as much. Um, 
and so they're the ones that really influenced WWE to to change it. You know, um, they didn't want it on there. So now it's just going to be called the WrestleMania Battle Royal. Like I said, I'm okay with the name change. I was okay if they left the name the same. Um, they might rechange it to another female next Raw, or they might wait a year to decide because honestly, I think the name is kind of corny. Uh, you know, what are they going to do with the trophy now? Is it just going to be like a WrestleMania banner or something like that now? Like, it's just going to look kind of weird. Uh, I personally, if they go with the name, I think they should for next year if they decide to wait until a year. Uh, the two people that come to mind uh, is China and Trish Stratus. Uh, now, think about this. Now, China is obviously probably never going to happen because Triple H doesn't, you know, like China. You know, because they broke up and all that stuff. And the animosity, and that's the reason why she's not in the Hall of Fame. But you got to think about this right now. Andre the Giant was the eighth wonder of the world, right? And he's on the Battle Royal. You know, that's what the name's after for the men. For um, the women's one, wouldn't it make sense for China, who was built as the ninth wonder of the world? Think about that for a second. The ninth wonder of the world was China. So wouldn't it make more sense to have China on there? She's the only female that contended for the WWE Championship, which no female in this day and age will ever do again. She's the only one that has done it to date. Not even Fabulous Moolah has that claim. Okay? And she won an Intercontinental title twice. So to me, uh, it's a no-brainer that China should be the one that this whole Battle Royal is named after, in my personal opinion. And she won a women's title, too. Um, but obviously that ain't going to happen because, you know, Triple H's animosity, even if they do put her in the Hall of Fame next year, they ain't going to freaking, you know, they ain't going to put, um, they ain't going to put her name on there because Triple H would have to look at it every year. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause you know, no one likes her, you know? So, you know, once again, Hall of Fame bullshit because it's basically whoever they like that gets all the good treatment, right? Whoever they like gets in the Hall of Fame. It's not really actually based on merit, who actually deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. It's whoever they quote-unquote like. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's my whole take on that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I don't mind it. I don't mind the change. Um, I don't really mind the change. I don't. I, I was okay if they left the name in. Um, I actually... Funny thing, a funny story is, I actually found out about some of the stuff Fabulous Moolah did like about a few weeks ago when Ivory was in uh, was announced for the Hall of Fame and I was talking to someone about, you know, why China should be in the Hall of Fame and stuff like that, and that was brought up. Um, so th this is before, of course, I found out that her she was going to be announced for the, the the royal battle or whatever her name was going to be named after the royal battle it's the three weeks <laughs> three weeks later now we're talking about the fabulous moolah again um so i mean i don't know um you know she did a lot of shady stuff from what i've heard and this is probably only the short term of the story uh is that you know she basically you know had schools uh, women's schools, wrestling schools, and basically mistreated, you know, her students and didn't train them or whatever and basically made them do certain things and she collected all the money for it, you know, kind of, you know, Fabulous Moolah kind of, uh, you know, lived up to her uh, name because the Fabulous Moolah means money. So, you know, she kind of uh, lived up to her reputation outside of the ring, it appears. Um <laughs> But yeah, I mean, my whole thing is because just like about like what was it like six months ago we were talking about an, a, a warrior not not the warrior award that they're doing for the Hall of Fame every year, but there was that other warrior award that they announced for like the cancer you know thing or something, and it was named after the Ultimate Warrior, um, which to me was so stupid. You know, because Ultimate Warrior wished death on uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan's for cancer like six years ago. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, the Bobby the Brain Heenan actually passed away of uh, throat cancer. 
Um, so, you know, to me, I feel like that award should not have been named after the Ultimate Warrior, and a lot of people were pissed about it. And WWE came out and basically said, well, it's just the character. You know, it's not the actual person. You know, trying to basically justify, you know, why they named it after the Ultimate Warrior rather than change it. You know, and so that that's my point, though, is a lot of fans were pissed off about that and, you know, signed petitions and stuff like that and didn't work. But once, you know, a sponsor gets involved with WWE and they don't like it, then, oh, WWE will actually listen to the fans and make it sound like, oh, yeah, thank you, WWE. Universe Stephanie posted out that tweet. So, like, oh, thank you, uh, you know, you know, fans, you know, and, you know, you know, and then did the hashtag name change or whatever. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so ridiculous. Like, come on. Like, you know, the character, you know, you know, the character on television, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's such a hypocritical logic. Um, and they only changed the Fabulous Moolah's name from this match because of Snickers, not because of what the fans wanted, okay? Not because the fans weren't pissed about it. It wasn't because the fans were pissed. It was because Snickers was pissed. Oh, my God, Snickers, man. They, you know, and I know a lot of people are saying, well, I don't care, you know, what it was. I don't care what it was, you know, as long as it's her name's off, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It just proves that WWE will not listen to their fans unless a freaking sponsor gets involved. If you have to resort to a sponsor getting pissed off at the, you pissed off about something that WWE does for them to change it, that's not good. That's not good at all because they're not listening to their fans. I guarantee you if if Snickers wouldn't have got on WWE's throat about this, guarantee you, they would have been like, you know what? We don't care. You know, this is about the character. It would have been the same thing that they did with the whole Warrior Award for the cancer thing or whatever. It would have been the same story. It would have been like, oh, we're not talking about what she did outside of the ring. We're talking about what she did in the ring. That's what we're talking about, guys. We're talking about that. Um... So that's the thing that really pissed me off about this whole situation. Um, I said China, uh, you know, next year, you know, if they decide not to just call it the WrestleMania thing this year uh, and then wait next year to name it after someone, uh, I would do China, but they probably won't do that because the Triple H doesn't like China um, um, because of her ninth wonder of the world tides. Um if not China, if we can't do China, I would do Tristratus. Yeah, Tristratus isn't dead, but really, does it matter? I mean, if we named something over, uh, named something after Bruno San Martino, who's the living legend, right? You know, does that matter? You know, Tristratus obviously revolutionized the women's division, uh, and uh, you know, is just as good as the divas that you see today wrestling. Um, and probably could give them a run for their money. I think Trish could probably run through all these these women wrestlers today. Um, she's still popular to this day. Um, if she decided to ever come out of retirement, I guarantee you she'd be an instant star. Still, she'd be an instant star right away. She'd be winning the women's title again um, because she's she's still she's still very popular to this day. Um, you know, when she came out for that Royal Rumble, you know. The women's Royal Rumble this year, she was she was getting a huge pop. You know, a lot a lot of people wanted her to win that, even though they weren't she wasn't going to. A lot of people wanted her to win that because you know that's the one accolade she never got to do. You know, so I mean, if Trish ever actually ever came out of retirement and decided to come back full time for a year, man, I'm telling you, Trish, man, she'd freaking win that Rumble. Um, I would like to see it if if you know she wants to, of course. But yeah, um. Yeah, if, if they're going to name it after someone, uh, China or Trish Stratus, you know, if they decide to do it next year, because they probably aren't going to name it after someone again this year. Um, I, I love to see how they're going to handle it on Raw, how they say, oh, yeah, well, the name's been changed or whatever. <laughs> you know, I wonder how they're going to do that or just going to just try to chop it off like they never said this last Monday night, that they never said it was the Fabulous Moolah or whatever. Yeah. Um, Last week, they'll just ignore it and say, oh, it's the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal, you know. 
So uh, we'll see what they do. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate. If you like this video or my other videos, please subscribe. And what do you think about the name change? Do you like it? Do you, did you not care whether they changed the name or not? And what do you think about this whole, you know, Snickers being the one that, you know, basically had them change it, you know, rather than what the fans wanted, you know? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate. If you like this video, please subscribe. And that's about it. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. Out of here. Peace.